The centre today told the Supreme Court it will examine the current status of development in 61 coal blocks allocated to companies on a case-by-case -case basis and take a decision within six weeks. Blocks held by companies which have failed to receive mandatory clearances for commencing mining operations could be cancelled. The exercise will affect the fate of 41 blocks. The UPA government finally towing the top court's advice on cancellation of coal blocks. The Attorney General today told the Supreme Court that it will cancel 41 coal block allocations made between 1993 and 2009 but yet to take off. It is not clear which firms control these blocks. The cancellation will come only after the government gets responses from the private companies who failed to get either forest or environmental clearance. The centre is finalising a list of companies to issue show cause notices and then take a final decision. The Supreme Court told the centre that it is not concerned with individual cases but with decision-making process as a whole. The court also pointed out that the screening committee selected 20 applicants but later added 11 more on its own. Tomorrow, the top court will be examining CBI's latest status report on the coal gate. Also, the investigating agencies request to send letter of rogatory to foreign countries to probe the scam. The centre today also relaxed its control on the CBI. Termed as caged parrot by the Supreme Court, the centre has finally accepted the agency's demand to give its director the rank of a secretary. The CBI director will now be empowered to approve all financial plans up to 15 crore rupees, which means that the agency will not have to take permission from the centre every time it has to get documents translated or wants new software or something as small as laptops and mobiles. Will this change the way the agency works? CBI says it is waiting to go through the fine print. With Arunachalam Vedanathan in New Delhi, Rohit Rajan for NDTV.